In this video, we're going to take a data sheet for a commercial lithium ion battery cell and digitize the discharge curve so that we can use it in our modeling and simulation. I've got to open a PDF from SAFT for the VL34P lithium ion battery cell. This is a high power cell. The data sheet is available online. What we're going to do is scroll down to find the discharge curves. Here is the rated performance at 25 degrees C. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the Windows Snipping tool to create a snip of the discharge curves. I'm going to save that to my desktop. And I'm going to browse to open any internet browser of your choice and browse to the site apps.automaris.io slash WPD. Go to File and click Load Images and choose the file that you saved earlier. When you're asked to choose plot type, select 2D XY plot and click Align Axes. Here you're going to select two points on the X axis and two on the Y axis in order to calibrate the image. I'm going to click near zero on the x-axis, which is the extracted capacity in ampere hours. You'll notice in the upper right window, there's a zoomed in view of where the mouse cursor currently is. If you need to adjust the position, you can simply use the left and right buttons on your keyboard. I'm going to select 35. And if you notice in the upper right, I didn't quite get the X2 on the position I want. I'm going to use the arrows to get it exactly where I want it. I'm going to do the same thing now for the Y points. Y1 is going to coincide with X1. And my Y2 point, I'll put at 4.3 volts. When I'm happy with where my X1, X2, Y1, and Y2 points are, I click on Complete. And now we enter the values for those, for those points. 0 to 35 on the x-axis and 2.5 to 4.3 on the y-axis. And at this point you can start extracting data. If you look over here on the right we're in the manual extraction menu and I'm currently have add point selected. So if I wanted to select the 1c curve which is shown in green I could start picking points and adjusting them as I need to with the arrows. If I want to view the data that I've digitized, I click on View Data over here on the left side. And I get a comma separated value list of the points that I've selected, the X and Y coordinates. So I see the capacity in ampere hours and the voltage. I could copy this data and work with it if I was, if I was happy with the data. In this case, I'm going to delete those three points and show you another technique where you can use a pen to automatically extract data. So first, I'm going to click on the foreground color over here. It's currently shown in blue. And I'm going to select Color Picker, and I'm going to pick anywhere on my chart that has the green color. So now I've got green selected. Click Done. And in the Automatic Extraction menu, I'm going to click on Pen. I can adjust the width of my pen if I need to. And I'm going to highlight only the green area. I'm going to ignore the other curves. But I'm going to use this highlighter or pen tool to cover the, the curve of interest. When I'm, when I'm ready, I'm going to click Run after setting the algorithm averaging window. If you select larger values, the data points will be spaced farther and farther apart. 10 pixels is usually a good starting point. And if I click Run, it will automatically extract data. Now you see that it does mostly a good job, except there are a few points that I don't like. So I'm going to go in and manually delete this first point. And if I see any other points, I'm going to adjust them. So I'm going to click on Adjust, and I'm manually going to adjust some of these points closer to the line until I'm happy with where they all are lying. Everything looks good along the way down. Maybe this point can be lowered a little bit. If 
few more data points to correct. I'm going to delete this one point here at the bottom. And I'm going to adjust the bottom two points. You could spend a little bit more time making the data align better with, with the discharge curve. But for now, I'm happy with the data. I'm going to click View Data. And now I've got a comma-separated value list, which I can export to Excel or use in any other program.